I'm inside of Omnia. I could feel ventilation. Lights are on. I thought they put the lift on. They put the breaker for the lift on. Okay, the breaker is on for it. I don't know why it's not on. I'm noticing there are just a few ACs on. And I'll take you to the power room and you see we're pulling about 45 kilowatts right now. So I don't know what's, what's, source of, what's pulling all that energy. Air conditioning is on here. Well done, though. Thank you. How are you? It's pretty comfortable here. <laughs> wow. Well done, though. You're using ga you cook with gas, Abi? So I'll take you to the inverter room, it's pretty warm and I'll show you what's going on. Sound of silence, the generator is off. Oh my god, you don't know. It's like I went in, I was like, thank you, Jesus. You can't imagine. It's like huge relief. Okay. So this system is on it. Uh, there are multiple pumps. It wasn't original part of the original design, but you can hear the pumps cycling. So this is on it. It wasn't part of the original design. You know how it is, right? <laughs> You've been paid money, so whatever it is. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Muhammad has run. Oh, it feels good. Everything is still running, huh? Yeah. What? How? How high has our load gone? So we're doing 20, 20, 20, 5 times for twenty-seven kilowatts right now. We are pulling on this one. This room is hot. We need air conditioning. What are we doing on this one? This one is much less. This 18, is less than twenty. Okay. The room is hot. We need air conditioning. It's not even optional anymore. This room is hot. And the PV is generating substantially much more than what we are. So go to the battery. Go see it. System status. Go to the battery. Battery, only one amp. We're pulling, we're pulling two amps into the battery because the battery is in float. Um, PV2, 1,250. PV1, 4,700. We saw substantially more than this earlier when the batteries were empty. So right now we're running off PV. The batteries are, the batteries are full. All, all of them. This is just so exciting. Relief. Oh my gosh. You can't even begin to imagine. This has driven us completely bonkers. So we're going to run this for about an hour. We'll turn everything off and then start checking the connections to make sure nothing is heating up. And then tomorrow we'll try and run it for about five hours tomorrow. We'll keep doing this till we run it fully for a full day. But right now, it seems to be the system is a little uh, more than we. <laughs> Well, the loads are not there yet, so it's still too early to tell. Uh, this one we're using to power just this room alone. It is going to power this room when the AC comes in. This will also power the AC. That's what this is. Is it this one? Is it this? One? Is it this one? This one. Sorry, this one. This one is powering this room. That's what this one is doing. This one is not powering anything, so we can turn it off. Yeah, turn the inverter itself off. So turn the PV off and then wait for, the, for it to discharge and then turn the inverter off. So, my gosh, I'm excited. You know, you know this was going to happen. When it initially happened, the system was just tripping. Uh, when we turned this on, was it this, this, was it this side? Yes. This was when I was tripping? Yes. We turned it on and it kept tri trip, tripping. The contactor kept going off and on. We kept getting EPS overload. It drove us nuts. And all we did is went in and we turned everything off and then brought the system back up one by one. I'm not sure we want to go through that each time. And then on this side, we just turned things on, put breakers on, and the loads just started to multiply. Before we even put the breakers on, there was uh, 7,000 watts, which wasn't even going to the hotel. So there's 7,000 watts here that we don't know where it is. We'll eventually find it. 
but I am excited. Oh my God, I'm excited. Another one. So to, we'll run tests for about another hour and then we'll shut things down. We'll check to see if anything heated up and then tomorrow we'll run it for about five or six hours. We'll keep doing this till we're able to run 24 hours. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Ashishi.